For what day is it, Missy? It's cruise day. Cruise day. Say, if you're excited to go on a cruise, say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. No, nobody sounds very excited anyway. <laughs> so, but we're going on a cruise, Norwegian, uh, what's, the, what's the Norwegian ship? Escape. Escape. <laughs> uh, so we're heading to the port now, we're in our shuttle. Oh, we're doing escaping. Yeah, we're escaping <laughs> reality, right, for uh, yeah. for a week. For so seven days. We're headed out. First stage of trouble. Yeah, first Go stage first. of group. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so we're in the boarding area. What are we, uh, boarding group uh, number one? This is Jeremy. He's got a pretty cool name. <laughs> you know, I'm Jeremy too. It's the best name ever. That's right. <laughs> yeah, somebody would really think, but we're boarding group one. We're just waiting for the We still have a whole bunch of people to get off the ship, right? Yes. So, we wait. Here we go, getting on the Norwegian escape. Okay, we're here at the box office to make our uh, show reservations. We just went to Headliners, made our restaurant reservation, Tapanyaki. What are we going to see? What's, your, what's the most exciting thing you're excited about seeing? That's our Choir of Man. Choir of Man. Is it Choir of Man or Choir of Man? Man. man. Okay, so we are in our cabin. It's actually two o'clock. It's extremely late for the cabins to be available. I'm not sure what's going on. It was an awful, awful boarding experience. The uh, terminal is very small. There was a lot more people than they had room for, and it was a late boarding. They were still people were still getting off the ship up until almost 11:30. So we don't know what the deal was with that. But we're now on board. We uh, went and made. Restaurant reservations, tapanyaki for later this week for nine people. And then we also went to the box office and made some comedy reservations and choir of man. Looking forward to that. That's tomorrow night, Sunday, our first sea day. And uh, here we are, the uh, beautiful skyline of Miami behind me. Let's see, <laughs> there we go. So uh, I'm just kind of waiting here now. Gonna have mustard drill and then uh, sail away. But uh, we have a couple ships. Here around us, I can only see the uh, Symphony of the Seas. We'll show you that here. There is Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas up in front of us. And uh, we have a Disney ship behind us, but we can't see anything else behind us. But we do have a Disney ship behind us, so that is pretty cool. I'm going to be setting up the uh, a time lapse for Sail Away here. That'll be a pretty cool time lapse. So look forward to that a little bit later. But always love sailing out of Miami. For some reason, it's one of the most, uh, one of the greatest ports to sail out of, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so coming up. Okay, so we are back at our patio. We went up to Muster, and uh, that went pretty smoothly. Although much, much different than the Encore. 
trying to get an elevator back up to our floor where our cabin is. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, there's like nobody and uh, the elevators are all empty and this one is just a jam-packed madhouse. So anyway, we're out on our patio, or I'm out on the patio. Got a uh, time-lapse set up here. But uh, they uh, mentioned to us when we uh, were at Muster that there is a delayed sail away because I guess the uh, refueling barge was late uh, getting in to uh, fuel us up. So it's kind of disappointing. It will now likely be dark when we sail out of Miami. It'll be a little bit different to see though. But uh, we won't get to see that cool skyline with the sun. Usually just hitting the buildings just right. It's really cool. But we'll see every other ship sail past us, I guess, as uh, they head out. And we have to stay behind until 6 p.m. We were originally supposed to sail out at 4. Now at 6. And, uh, yeah. So, but they're refueling down here now. And uh, there's a carnival ship up here. Not exactly sure. We'll take a look at it when it sails by. But it's sailing out. There's a celebrity ship. There is Disney. We have Royal in front of us. So we'll be all by ourselves at some point in time here. So we just saw Symphony of the Seas sail out and then uh, the Carnival Conquest just went by. There's the Disney Magic. And then there's at least one more ship, uh, the Celebrity Ship. Still up there. Still coming. There's our uh, refueling barge. It was late, which makes us late. But uh, it's a beautiful day out here, isn't it? It's real nice. Missy likes it. Missy likes it. after 6 p.m. and we've just started sail away. Oh, I need a new battery. I <laughs> just replaced the battery. But a little after 6 p.m. and it's about actually. It's like 20 after 6. There's a car ferry going over beneath us here. Wave to the people. Wave to the people on the car ferry that are waving to us. Uh, yeah, Fisher Island Ferry it says, but we're sailing out of the Port of Miami. This is a kind of rare for us. We've only sailed out of here a few times, but this is a night departure. You're supposed to sail out of here at four during the daytime. But now it's at night, so a little bit of a different view. You got the skyline of Miami Beach back there behind us, all lit up at night. That's kind of cool. So uh, after this. After sail away, we have uh, Missy's taking a nap, and uh, I have uh, we have dinner plans for eight o'clock in the Manhattan dining room with the rest of our group of people. So we'll be heading there for dinner later on. Now we're coming up. I'm not going to say just on one of my yachts because actually I got a couple. Uh, one of these is kind of like what mine is. This isn't the same, but it's pretty close. So we're sailing away from Miami, and I think what we have up here are a few ships sailing from Fort Lauderdale. That's what that looks like because it is just up the coast here. What about 45 minutes to an hour? Oh, away we go. Bye to Miami.
Okay, so we just finished a very good dinner at uh, the Manhattan Room. Very good dinner there, some good desserts. And I had to run back down to the uh, cabin because we had to buy a, oh, sorry. We had to buy a lightning cable for Missy's iPad, but uh, it doesn't work. It does not charge, it provides power to it, but it does not charge it. And uh, I hit the wrong button on the elevator. Down. Uh, so I'm gonna return that because they said I could return if it doesn't work. And uh, here we are. Yeah, we thought we left Missy's iPad uh, cable, lightning cable, back in Orlando. Thought we left it there, but uh, after I had bought this, Missy says, "Hey, check such and such a place." Sure enough, there it was. Who did you need this? I'm waving the white flag. 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 Okay, we're back in our room. There's Missy. Got her hat on the head. And, uh, and, uh, we're, uh, yeah, I think we're done for the night. We went up. I returned those things. They had no problem returning, uh, that lightning came that A didn't work, and we found the one we actually had. So, had a pretty good dinner. Wasn't too bad. We, uh, we're kind of misled, though. They had all these signs that said, Prime Rib! Prime Rib! And then you had Prime Rib on the menu, but we found out that, uh, when you read it really close, Prime rib at the Garden Cafe and at Oceans. No, the local. Oh. Oceans. Oceans. The local. That's a different ship. So that's a little misleading, but uh, and you know, the you signs are really at close. the main dining room. Yeah, no, yeah, the signs are at the main dining room. So that was kind of uh, we didn't get we didn't get prime rib anyway. And prime rib at the uh, buffet is never like prime rib you would get at a restaurant. Yeah. They just cut it off of a. Hip, it's basically whatever. just like the sirloin edge. Yeah, it's kind of just like, yeah, we got the sirloin. That was actually quite good. Soup? And uh, soup was good. Dessert was not too bad. So, yeah, we had a pretty good dinner. So, we're going to wrap it up. Are we wrapping it up? I went shopping. Missy went shopping. What'd you buy? I bought a Christmas ornament. Where is it? It's right there. Oh, yeah, we got to see what the Christmas ornament is. Yeah. We bought a Christmas ornament. Because we got one on the Encore. Yeah, we got one on the Encore. We don't have one on the Bliss. So you got to go back on the I Bliss to get it. Let's take a look, look at it. Yep. Super cute. Oh, I got I to focus on it. Oh, yeah. Those got a 3D right now for some reason. So it's $18 for that. But we got 10% off because we're bronze. Which means we've only been on a couple of cruises. <laughs> Three. Yeah, 10% off because we're bronze latitude members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty good deal. Seventeen dollars, kind of pricey. That's for... not a pretty good deal. Actually. <laughs> that's actually a rip that's off. That's a rip off, but I had to have it because I just bought one on the other ship. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're probably put like what two dollars worth. But of, I could get a forty-nine dollar one that's like this big. Yeah, well, it's not an ornament though. It's a, no, it's a it's ship an model. Ship. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it's a better deal than that. So. And it was made in China. Wow, made in China. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quality workmanship right there. Yep. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Going to bed. Bed's made behind us. Came in while we were gone. And uh, I guess that's it. I keep talking for some reason. I don't know why. See yeah. ya. See ya. Wave to the camera. Or wave to the people. Bye, everybody. Well, we'll be back tomorrow, though. Don't worry. Can't get rid of us that easy.